Hey, hey, hey. I think we're live. Hey, everybody. It's Wendy at Cottage 321 at C321 Ventiques in Hudson, North Carolina. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday with me, Wendy. So glad y'all are here today. Um, do me a favor and comment something. Also hit that thumbs up, either in YouTube or Facebook, either one, or give me a heart, uh, a smiley face or something, and let me know that you're watching. And also, if you could share this to your own page, it helps out even more. But if you just talk to me, y'all have questions, you have suggestions or anything like that, please go ahead and comment that and I should see it. I've got my laptop set up right here today, all fancy dancy. And let's see here. Yep. So I just posted a link and it is um, to our website. It's cottage321.com. And on both on both of our stores are represented on our website. You will see a column that's the boutique. You'll see a column that's Ventiques. I just put a comment. Hey April, how are you doing babe? Thanks for jumping on. Um, I just put a link to the whole collection for today. Um, I was supposed to do a DIY today, but my uh, stuff, my product that I needed to make my ornaments with did not come in. And they, it was going to be Christmas ornaments, and it's a really a little bit early for that anyway. So one of my employees had a great suggestion about doing a fall, a vintage fall tablescape. And I'm like, that's brilliant. Let's do it. And we had so much fun yesterday running all around the cottage, finding different little items and stuff that we could do kind of a Thanksgiving table. Uh, we're going to do like a little a sitting back here of a four piece set and just decorate it and have fun. And we have selected things out of various vendors, uh, items out of their booths, and I have linked them on my website. So if you love what you see, we do ship anywhere within the United States. And if you're local, you can come in and see it. Just know that if somebody buys it online, it's gone. <laughs> and also want to let y'all know that all sales are final here at Mintiques just because of the nature of the game. There's lots of different people in here and it's hard to keep the money straight. So it's final sale. What you see is what you get. Make sure you love it. That kind of thing. But I, we have spent last night, I stayed up to about 1 a.m., I took a bunch of pictures and loaded all these items to our website so you guys could shop it live. And um, I also have a bunch of pictures and stuff back here in the back that I'm going to be showing you part first. To sh Anyway, I'm getting my words all mumbled. But anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me. This is like a, I don't know, it's the C321 Ventiques Live Shopping Network today. <laughs> but we're going to have fun and we're going to decorate and I want to show you how... You can uh, decorate a table and have a lot of fun with it. My heart is always vintage, retro, all those kind of things. I love found items over brand new items. That's just my, my what I love. You may love the brand new sparkling and all that. Not me. I'm all about vintage and retro and I mix all kinds of different things together. And that's just what I love. So... And that's what we have a lot of here at Ventiques. And so anyway, do y'all have any questions or anything? Again, my name's Wendy. I'm the owner of Cottage 321 Boutique and Ventiques. And today we're live at Ventiques. Okay, well, we're just going to get, oh, April says that she loves to decorate vintage too. And April, the name of her business is Vintage Vision. So, and she paints the most fabulous furniture, y'all. Y'all have to Check her out. Go check out her Facebook page. She sells things live on, oh, not live, but on Facebook, but she also has a booth here. April, I wish you had had a dining room table here so I could have displayed everything on your table. But anyway, you are low, girl, on your booth, so bring some more stuff. <laughs> but she is in high demand, and her stuff sells really fast, so it's really hard to keep her booth full. But let's get started, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. And the first thing I want to do is just show you all these beautiful signs I have back behind me. Again, I left the link, and I may, if I have time, I might pop over and post each one of the pieces as I go. But the very first piece is this gorgeous fat piece right here. This is by Weathered World Studios. This is a handmade sign, and y'all can see how big it is. I'm in front of it. It is 36 inches by 24, 36 that way by 24. So it's a very 
pretty big piece and I love it. It's only $54 and it is handmade, hand painted. Everything about it's awesome. This is a mom's business. Weather World Studio is beautiful. Um, Brittany Lowen, and she just does fabulous work. But this is one of her gorgeous signs. And it's Carol, it says Carolina's finest pumpkin patch, hay rides, gourds, mums, and corn maids with a cute little arrow. And she has this cute little weathered out, kind of makes it look like it's rusted sign. And it's just beautiful. I love it. I love that it's framed out in the natural wood. It's beautiful. Let me see if I can drop a link for that one. I dropped you a link to everything. I'm going to pop over here real quick. And that actually, that one was the first one, so that made it easy. So I'm going to drop a link in the comments for that sign if you love it. I will tell you this. I, I think I put a whole lot of weight on that sign because I'm not shipping that. If you really like that piece, you need to contact us. I'm not shipping that. I'm afraid it would bust all the pieces. So I'm not shipping it. Repeat, I'm not. <laughs> But uh, that is the pumpkin patch sign. And let me show you a couple more of her pieces here. Let me back up just a little bit. And all the signs that are here are for, they're locally handmade and they're absolutely fabulous. I got three different people here that are on, that are represented. And let me show you one more of hers. This is another big one. It's the Hello Fall. This is another favorite of mine. This one's $45 and it's absolutely gorgeous y'all. It has a burnt orange background. Let me go back to make sure I am. I'm going to copy that and paste it for you guys too. But isn't that beautiful? I love it. This is 24 inches by 24 inches. Perfect little square and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is piece and even the pumpkin sign. You can have this up through Thanksgiving. I love it. And a lot of people start hanging their stuff up even at the end of August. But here we are. Um, we're, in, we're already past. We're almost done with October. But I feel like you can still have this up in your house up until Thanksgiving. But anyway, it's beautiful. This one's 45 bucks. Let me see if I can post a link to it real quick. April, thank you for tagging people. That's another thing, guys. If you're watching, if you tag some of your friends that you think would love this little, little shopping network today, please add them on to the thing. But this is another handmade sign by Weathered World Studios. She's got a couple little sitters. I'm going to show you both of those. And um, this one, I think, is only $10. It's the Hello Pumpkin. And then we have this Autumn Skies Pumpkin Pies. I love that green color. We call these sign sitters. And I may, if we have time at the end, I might show you how I would use it, um, like in a, on a hall table or something like that. But this one's $12. And again, if you guys, that first comment I made has a link to all of these items. It's on our website under, uh, <laughs> I think I put it under, it's called What's Up? What's Up Wednesday, 10 26 22. So it's today's day. So very cute from Weather World Studio. Let me show you a couple of cute ones from Lovely Little Things. That's Jessica Gearhart, and I love her stuff, y'all. It's so pretty. Um, let me pull it up here really quick. So we got the Happy Fall, y'all. This is $15. I love this color green, and I know the glare. I'm going to try to turn it sideways. It's $15, and it's just lovely, y'all. It's handmade, hand-painted by Jessica Gearhart, and the name of her business is Lovely Little Things, and I just love this. So this, I, you can hang, it's got a hanger on it, but it also could be a sitter because it's wide enough. But it could hang on the wall, or you could do it just like on a shelf or uh, in your china cabinet or something like that. It's a really, really pretty piece. Again, this is Lovely Little Things. Let me see if I can drop a link to that one real quick. And this one says, Happy Fall, y'all. I love the color. I love green. And this green is super pretty. So I'm going to drop a link to it. Again, if you guys love this, 
you can shop it live and we will ship it to you if you can't make it to our store. Boom, I sent that. And then let me show you one more. This one I think is just really, really pretty. I love the distressing. I love the color, everything about it. This is Gather Together. I'm trying to keep it from, it's like I have to go the opposite way that I think. Gather Together is $20. Again, this is a lovely little thing. Um, and it's got a cute little hanger on the back. So again, sometimes I will like lean these on shelves or on, on tables that are leaning against the wall and just lean it, or you can hang it and make a nice little collage. But this is another handmade sign. This looks like it came out of an old cabinet door and I just love the detailing, it's beautiful. So this is a creamy white background and just love it. This is another Jessica Gearhart item called Lovely Little Things. She has lots of things here at our store. If you'd like to see lots of those, it's not all fall. She has some everyday items as well. So come check it out. This is only 20 bucks. It's awesome. Come check it out. And then I've got one super cute sign from Lily Ruth Melton. And she is this sweet lady, y'all. She is like the sweetest thing ever. And I'm going to try to post a link to her sign. It's only $16. Let me post it real quick here. And it's this cute little Farm Fresh Pumpkins, 25 cents. And y'all, isn't that the cutest thing ever? And this is another one that you could, you know, lean in a cabinet. I hope y'all can hear me okay. You can lean it or you can hang it. It does have the sawtooth little hanger and it is only 16 bucks. Handmade, hand painted, hand sourced, all the things, and made locally. Love it. It's, it's gorgeous. I, I think I forgot to push that out there. Boom. We got it. So I'm going to move all these signs off the table real quick. Try not to scratch them up. Give me just a second here, and we are going to start a tablescape, a fall kind of Thanksgiving tablescape for four people. Just a small little family gathering. And let me just move these to the side. And I'm probably, got a little bit dirty here with our stuff, I'm probably going to point the camera down just a little bit lower so that you can see the table better. And we're going to get started. I'll show you the item and then we're going to put it on the table. So first of all, I'm going to show you this item right here is from Tammy Amos. She's booth number 20. And I'm just going to kind of show this as I'm trying to gather the this is a table runner and it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to be our first item that we put down. There it is. This is the fall floral table runner and I'm going to post it real quick. I really should have somebody doing this so I can keep talking. <laughs> Here we go. So absolutely gorgeous. I'm not real sure how long it is, but it looks pretty long. And we're just going to throw it across this table right down the center. And just be advised that this is my work table and I just threw a, an old tablecloth on top of it. But it's kind of skinny, but you can get the idea. You can put more stuff on this table if it's not quite skinny. Let me show you all these tassels. Aren't they pretty? I love the colors. It's got the mustards and the topes. And, Got a little bit of green and a little bit, I don't know if y'all can tell this color right here is kind of rusty, almost plumish kind of color to it. Beautiful fall colors. I think this makes an awesome, awesome display. So that's the first thing that I'm going to put down. And this is a fall runner by Tammy Amons. It's only $22 and I think it's gorgeous. I'm going to point you down just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the table if I can do it without tearing up everything. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, so the next thing I want to do, I have got, this is actually items that I have uh, junked, <laughs> that I have thrifted or whatever, and I just thought these were really pretty. These are a set of four 
chargers and they're they're really they're plastic but they look like old copper and they have the fall leaves on them i thought they were really really pretty they are eight dollars for the set of four let me see if i can grab those and post them for you so that's going to be the next thing that i throw down there they are right there and they are leaf around the design of it and boom I do too. The colors of that run that runner is just fabulous. So instead of doing it boop boop, since my table is so skinny, I'm going to do one on each end and one here and one here. And we're going to kind of separate that because I've got a little table piece that I want to put in the middle. But so far, just imagine you got a little bit wider of a table. But this is we got our chargers. Now y'all are going to die when you see these plates. That I'm about to use and these are absolutely gorgeous let me pop up them real quick this is look at this isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen um, this is actually my mother-in-law she has like the best china y'all when I go to her house um, it's always like, which one do you want to use? Which one? She just collects lots of stuff. So this must be a pattern that she's like, I want something new. And so she's just getting rid of it. This is really nice. These are Royal Staffordshire vintage dinner plates. It's a set of six. And I'm getting ready to paste the link to that. They're absolutely, let me get it a little bit closer for y'all. Look at the colors. And it's like... I don't know what to tell you, but that with that just looks like it was meant to be. We're going to put it on this beautiful charger. Look at that, y'all, together. So pretty. So I'm only putting four out, but if you buy this set, I think it's only, I think it's 22. Go over there again. Yeah. Oh, it's $27 for a set of six plates absolutely fantastic beautiful i'll show you the back so you can see can y'all see that it's the royal staffordshire and the colors y'all are just gorgeous i love them so that's going to be our four plates even though it's a set of six we're just going to use four and i'll place these out Again, this is from booth number 10. No, it's number nine. Sally Perry. That's my mother-in-law. Y'all need to come check her booth out. She has the most awesome things in her booth. The next item is also hers and is like a super great deal. We've got, now we just cut up some burlap because I didn't have any napkins here. So we just cut up some burlap to give you an idea. But we have a set of four of these brass napkin rings and they go perfect look they go perfect with that collection i just absolutely love it both the plates and these napkin rings are in sally's booth booth number nine these napkin rings set of four are only 5.99 i'm going to drop a link to those real quick for you and um i just y'all i just can't believe how cheap these are <laughs> But they're beautiful they're brass and then it's got like this beautiful ribbon on it it's kind of gold and floral and it's got the purples and the pinks and the topes anyway it's just gorgeous so we're going to put four of these on our plates and if you're wondering who i am i'm wendy i'm from c321 antiques today in hudson north carolina and we are doing a beautiful fall vintage fall inspired table and you could do this now until Thanksgiving or even for Thanksgiving. I just think this is fun. I love doing this kind of stuff. It's so fun. So I think the next thing I want to add to this, yes, you need to shop Sally's booth. It's got some awesome stuff in it. So that April's saying she needs to shop it. <laughs> yes, you do, April. You, you won't believe all the stuff in there. All right, let me now, I think I'm going to add my glasses. Now, um, let me just preface this with, I know these are juice glasses, but the colors were just so pretty. I had to use them. So, and there, I think there's actually six of these and they're sold individually. 
This is very mid-century modern. Y'all remember these glasses. They came in all kinds of different colors, but that green is fabulous. Um, it's absolutely, I wish I had it in the tall version, but just imagine you could serve your little um, spice apple cider in that or, you know, juice, whatever, whatever you're thinking. But I just thought this was going to be cute on the table. This is actually my daughter's booth. It's booth number eight. Ashley is my daughter, and so her and her best friend have a booth here, and this is one of her items. I am going to drop a link to it. These guys are $5 a piece, and I think she has six of them. We're just going to put four of them out today. They are priced individually, but that is the most gorgeous, cutest thing ever. I'm going to put one at each place setting. And y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not really good about where forks, knives, and all that kind of stuff kind of go. I just put stuff on the table and make it look cute. But I'm going to say the right. Since I'm right-handed, I drink with my right hand. I'm going to put the glasses on the right-hand side. Y'all tell me if that's wrong. I need some table etiquette for sure. I'm spreading these out because we're going to do like a, a big display in the middle here in just a minute. So that's my cute little place settings, four place settings. What do y'all think so far? Isn't it cute? I just love it. All right, I think now I wanna set up a middle display piece and then we're gonna build on that. So the first thing I got here is, I think I did list, this is a, a vintage, I don't know if it's a real brick mold, but it sure looks like it. It's definitely inspired by it. It looks like an old brick mold. This is only $15. This is one of my items. And we are gonna use this to help us do a little centerpiece here. I think I told y'all it was 15. But anyway, really, really cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it in between in the middle. This one's not really for sale, just to give you an idea. This is a black uh, candlestick that I just have around and I prop stuff on it all the time. So I'm putting this in the middle. And I didn't list these, but we have a bunch of these little, these are real pumpkins. This is a tiger stripe and I think this is called, I can't remember, moonshine or something. But anyway, they're, we have them here at the store. They used to be $3, they're now $2 each but they're super cute and they're the real deal. We're gonna use these as part of our display. I am gonna put this pretty striped one on the top and I'm gonna like put these two right here in the middle, kind of just haphazardly look really. And I'm gonna bow and point it a different way. And then I found some florals. This I did not list this on the website. This little floral is from Sally's Booth. It's $5.95. It's really cute colors. You can use anything you like, and you could go crazy with this. But I'm just going to kind of stuck it, stick it in here, kind of haphazardly with the pumpkin kind of sitting on it. And boom. Isn't that cute? So cute. Can y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Um, let me see if I can lower it down just a little bit so you can see a little bit closer. I really like that. This is a smaller table, so you could do something bigger. You know, I love dough bowls on my bigger table at home. I have a giant dough bowl and I put tons of little pumpkins and big pumpkins and add a little bit of floral touch to it and it's fun. And I like to add some height. I just wanted a little bit of height here in the middle. So that's what I did. All right, so the next thing, I think I want some candles. I forgot to drop that link. Mr. Vintage is calling me back to work. Oh no, thank you, April. Thank you for sharing, I appreciate it. Please watch the rest of it on the replay when you get a chance. Appreciate you being with us. Let me take her little comment off here real quick. All right, guys, let's keep going. This is fun. So now I want candlesticks and I've got these cute little candlesticks from Summer Homestead. She is booth number 16. She has these really two cute little brass candlesticks. Let me find them real quick. And it includes the, she calls them gray candles, but to me, they look like a sage green. Let's see where they go. I don't see them. 
give me just a, oh, there they are. So they are set, it's for the set, they're $15 for the set and the two candles that come with it, 15 bucks. Let me post it real quick here for you. It's so fun. They're beautiful. This is vintage brass. It has the perfect patina. There's the tall candle, but let me show you up close. It's just the perfect patina. I wouldn't clean that. I love it just like that. It's so pretty. So you're getting a set. Boom. So I'm going to put it on each side right here, just like that. What do y'all think? Isn't that cute? I love that. I might bring you in closer here in just a minute. Let me see if I can slide you in closer without tearing my camera all the way apart. Like that guy. Can point you down just a little bit. Anyway, let's see if I can go brighter with the light. Isn't that cute? All right, so we've got the two candlesticks. Okay, next, I think I want to add some more florals. And I've got two beautiful floral. I, I think I'm only going to drop a link to one because I've got two. It's two different colors. I'm going to drop the link to just one. And these are out of booth. Let's see. This is out of booth number 10. It's Donna Day. She call, she's calling her booth Cecilia, Cecilia Creek. And let me see here. Let me go back a page. Y'all, please comment below. Let me know what you think of what you're seeing. Do you like this? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to drop a link to the orange one, but there is another one on here that's green. I will show you both of them up close, but the link is just for one. Just to remind you that you can go to our website and see them all. But this is, these are $15 a piece. They have beautiful florals in them. And I love the glass. She's added a little bit of the twine. And it's super, super cute. These are $15 a piece. This is the orange one. And I'm going to set this one right here. I'm going to push this more towards the back here. And then here is the green one. It's also $15. It's a beautiful green color. Again, it's got the twine around it. Look at the beautiful acorns. And I love, I think the florals look really good. And I'm going to put that one right here. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, hopefully your table's wide enough you can push those apart so you don't catch your flowers on fire when you light those candles. But I love that. I think that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love it. So pretty. So again, these two vases. They're $15 a piece, and they are listed on our website underneath the What's Up Wednesday for 10 26 22 You can find all these items there. We're still going. We're not done. Okay. Now, you got to have, let's see, you got to have salt and pepper, right? <laughs> Look at these beautiful wooden salt and pepper. So I am going to drop a link. These are actually mine. And I love these. I think they're so cute. They're actually wooden. So it's a salt shaker and then a pepper grinder. Um, yes. Yes, this one's the grinder. And this one's just a shaker. But they're wooden and they're beautiful. And I love them. I'm going to drop you a link to these. These are $12 for the set. They're sold as a set. Let me drop that for you real quick. Ah, come on. Boom. And y'all let me know. If you don't like me dropping these links, let me know. And um, next time I'll just leave a link in the description somewhere. But this is so cute. Salt and pepper. Natural wood. Natural wood right now is really, like, very popular. So I think I'm going to set these. I'm going to leave this here. And I'm kind of going to put them right here in the center. Just like that. I like that. Okay. Now we kind of need something. We'll put something right here on this side. And I think this is a beautiful piece. So let's say you're going to serve some wine. This is a handmade pottery by Debbie Britton. And let me go over and find her piece real quick. I love this piece. This is a handmade pottery wine cooler. 
does not include the wine bottle or wine. <laughs> Shucks, right? But it is beautiful, y'all. And it's a beautiful kind of pewter color. And it's handmade. And I'm going to take this out so you can see it a little bit closer. It's, it's a beautiful kind of pewter, gorgeous color. It's, it looks awesome. It's going to look good. You could... You could use this for so many things. It doesn't have to be a wine cooler. You could actually put your florals in this, or um, you can put your utensils by your stove in it. I love, I love this piece, and it's handmade by Debbie. She is local here in Caldwell County, and I love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm gonna stick this like kind of right here. I think that is really, really pretty. And our table's getting crowded, but you know that's just that's just supposed to be crowded. It's supposed to look good. Some people, like my mother-in-law, Sally, the one that has a beautiful place, she sets up her table and she leaves it decked out, you know, all the time. And just whenever we have dinner or something, she'll change it out for us to actually eat at. But it's just so pretty when you walk in and see it already dolled up and beautiful. So while we're still showing some of Debbie's things, let me show you another one of her pieces. And this is this cute little pumpkin dish. I love this. It's, again, it's handmade pottery. Let me find it real quick. And you could do a lot with this. You could make a floral arrangement with this. Or, if you were me, you could serve something in it. So, I'm going to say this is just a bowl. And where is that thing at? Did I not add her pumpkin? Let me go back one more. Sorry about that, guys and gals. Uh, there it is. Super cute. Handmade. Debbie Britton, Caldwell County. Cute little pumpkin dish. So cute. I love it. It is only $14.50. And again, the colors. Look at that glazing. It's so pretty. I love it. So you could serve out of this, or you can make you a cute little floor arrangement, or use it to hold trinkets, whatever you want to do, but I love this. So I'm going to say that we are serving something in this. We might have our, our gravy in it, or something like that. So I'm going to set this one. I'm kind of getting heavy on this side, but I'm still, I'm just going to set it kind of here. And we're going to say that we're serving something out of that. Love it. Okay, now the other thing you got to have on your table is a butter dish right so we have got this is from booth number i think see i think this is number four <clears throat> this is michelle fox it's called shell by design i think <clears throat> booth number four and this is a really cute it was a silver butter dish and she has painted it and distressed it and it looks like she put a little bit of gold um, leafing, not leaf, but a little bit of gold on the details. It's really, really cute, y'all. Let me share it real quick. I love it. So cute. Um, but it's a cute little butter dish. And you can tell from the inside it was silver. So we are going to set this. Normally I'd be sitting it on the other side, but so you can see it, I'm going to set it here. We might be swapping our wine bottle out here in just a minute, but let's just Set it there for now. Okay. Now, I also have another cute little serving bowl. And I thought this one might be cool to have our cranberry uh, relish in. Um, you know, everybody wants that cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving. So, I added our cranberry relish to this uh live event as well but look at this beautiful plum colored little bowl it's glass this is one of my daughter's pieces and to me it looks like it's kind of mid-century modern i could be wrong please correct me if i'm wrong but i just think it's super cute it is booth number eight and it is a plum bowl for only eight dollars and we'll see if i can grab it i just thought this color was perfect with our little tablescape here and i'm going to drop that one real quick so cute i love it and i think i'm going to since you've already seen this the pumpkin dish now i'm going to put on the back side 
And I don't know if y'all can see, but the colors in this guy, that little bowl is perfect for that. And then um, I'm not going to post a link to this one, but this is our New England Cranberry Relish. This stuff is so good, y'all. So all you need to do is get you a block of cream cheese and layer this on top. Just pour it on top of it and let people have that with their holiday turkey turkey it is so good i love it it's really really yummy you can also just use crackers like if you wanted to have a little bit of hors d'oeuvres before the meal this is a great one to have you just serve it just pour it on top of a block of cream cheese and use some little crackers with it or you can actually serve it with your turkey and let people dump it out so i was thinking this would be really cute in this bowl it's about the same color and i just thought that was cute so i'm gonna leave that right there so you can see that Super, super cute. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I did. I forgot to do this. Okay, I'm going to move my line back. Move it to this side. And I've got a cute little cutting board, y'all. And I'm going to put him on here, and then I'm going to fix fix him up a little bit more. So it's some adjusting has to be made. So we have some handmade cutting boards by Heidi and Anthony. They're in booth number three, and they're beautiful, y'all. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is a small one because we have a small table, but they have all sizes. And he has some wonderful butter um, board butter that uh, they sell as well. And I think, like, if you buy one of their boards, they give away the butter. I think I need to recheck on that. But anyway, that's what conditions it, and it's food safe and all that good stuff. Where is his board at? Give me just a second. I know I added it. I know I did. Because it's only $18. This little cute little guy here. Handmade. 18 bucks. Comes with the little serving fork. There it is. Handmade small serving board. Comes with the spreader and a little fork. Cutest little thing ever did see. Great gift. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And they have uh, board butter that you can, after you serve or whatever and clean it and let it dry, put that butter on and um, it just conditions the wood and keeps it safe. Um, and this is made for serving. It's not for cutting. It's not a cutting board. It is a serving board. But this is beautiful. And now I'm trying to remember how I did this yesterday. I think I just had it kind of like that. I'm gonna take this cute little pumpkin. It's only $2 right now. We have a whole bunch of these things and I'm just gonna stick him right there. How stinking cute is that? Let's see, I think my butter's gonna to have to kinda, of, this all fit yesterday, but you know, sometimes things have to go out to the side. And then you remember that pumpkin bowl? Let me throw it back over here again. Our little pumpkin bowl is right here. So honestly, like we have Wind and Willow, it's in that link as well. We have Wind and Willow. This is the same stuff that's at Biltmore. If you've ever been to the Biltmore house and tasted any of their foods, it is Wind and Willow. They just private label it for them. But it's the same stuff. So um, there is three different little recipes on the back. This stuff is so simple and easy to use. Whenever we do an event here at the store and I serve this, it sells out. It is so good. And you can do a quick cheesecake with it. All it takes is cream cheese and some whipped topping, topping and then your pie crust. Or you can simply use just cream cheese and do it like a cheese ball. And there's one other recipe underneath this label. But I was thinking that would be fun to put into the pumpkin bowl. So you could do the little cream cheese inside here with this mix, it's so good. It has a little graham cracker crumbly that you can put on the top of it as well. It's super good, yummy, yummy, y'all. So that is for the pumpkin bowl. Now I remember why I did that. So I'm gonna put him back over on this side. And I think we're almost done. Okay, so let me step back so y'all can see. What do y'all think? I think this is really cute. Now imagine your table is probably a little bit wider. This one's really skinny. It's actually my little work table that I use to do lots of projects on. But I just wanted to give you an example. This is just a little four piece set. This is all like things out of the booths here at Ventiques. And I listed all these things. I don't have everything in the store because it's, it took me a while just to get this little bit. 
uploaded, but I just wanted y'all to see some of the things. I just love it. I love um, putting vintage and old things together and giving them a new purpose, a new life. And I just, this is the way that I decorate. I love it. I hope you do too. But all these items, if you love them, shop our website. They're on there today. Or you can come in the store and check them out in person if you like. Just remember, if they sell, they're gone. <laughs> and they probably will. But um, this was just a small little thing I put together. And I thought it was a, a fun, fun thing to do. I'm going to look at our time and see how far we got because there's some other ideas I have as well. So I've got a couple more things that I think like after you've eaten your main course, you're going to have cake, right? So I have a wonderful item from Glenda Lou. She is in booth number 61, and it is a vintage metal dome with the silver plate. And I just think this is so cute. And look at the little acorn topper. I love that. This thing is only six bucks, y'all, and it is so stinking cute. And I just love it. It's so cute. So I'm going to drop a link to that. Glenda has an awesome booth. She is an interior designer and she's just really good at picking and junking and she finds the best stuff. Unusual, neat, and she has a, a awesome way of displaying her pieces. It kind of gives you ideas how to put it in your house. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me put this up here. Let me show this little um, G tier rink one. Thank you. It is a beautiful table. So I just, I'm dropping the link to this little dome. It's silver. And I was going to see if it says anything, but it's got a silver matching bottom. And look at the cutest little acorn handle ever. So this is something that I would use. And like, as you clear plates out, you would bring the cake out, right? So, boom, it's on the table, or I'm going to show y'all in a minute, at our Christmas, not, it's even, Thanksgiving and Christmas is kind of like the same meal for us. We do the same kind of meal both times. We have such a big family that we will set up a separate small table that just has the desserts and stuff, and I want to show y'all an example if we have time, and it looks like we will. I want to show you an example of what I think a cute little dessert table for Christmas would look like it's already put together. It's out on the main floor and I'll take you to see that here in just a minute. But let's say now it's time to drink some coffee, right? So we've got some cute little coffee cups that I think just are adorable. It's a set of four. And this is from booth number eight from my daughter, Ashley. Look at these little retro, cute little coffee mugs. And they're $12 for a set of four. I love them. So I want to find the link to it. I just think these are adorable. So cute. And since it's my daughter's, I have to show. <laughs> but I love these. I'm actually thinking about taking these to my cabin up in Spruce Pine because they would be really cute displayed. Let's see, where are they at? Oh. Maybe the next page. Let's go. Did I? I know I listed them. There they are. They're so cute. So these are kind of retro as well. These may be kind of mid-century modern. When I, it's probably from the 70s. I'm just guessing. But these are great. And they go with this table completely. So let's like now we're going to just add our little coffee mugs to the mix. So cute. I love it. I love it, love it. Just tripped over my power cord. <laughs> but I love this, guys. It's so fun doing that. And then we've got some cute little dessert plates. They're plaid, and I love them. They go with this whole design. It's just funny how it was so fun going through the cottage, finding all of these things. It's like, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. So these are from Tammy Amos booth number 20 and they are cute little I you know they're really small dinner plates but if you're like our family we have multiple things for dessert so you need a bigger plate than the tiny one and so we got four little plaid fall inspired plates I think two have 
you've got two plates of this design and then two is just slightly different of this it's 19 dollars for a set of four so stinking cute and so all i'm going to do is and i hate to cover up these beautiful plates but they would go right there they would go right there take away your dinner plate but it's so cute, so yummy. The colors go with these plates, and everything on here is just absolutely normal and stinking cute. I love it. What do y'all think? Voila! Ta-da! <laughs> I just love it. I think it turned out really good. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Uh, I'm actually going to take my phone here down and show you a little bit closer. I think I've got everything out. I'm going to take a big gulp of, of water here. And if y'all have any questions or anything, let me see if anybody has asked anything and I just missed it. I don't think so. But watch the replay. If you're watching it later, still ask questions. I'll come back and check it out. Um, we are going to take a, I'm going to pour the table a little bit closer with you guys. And then I want to take you out here out front and show you a cute little Christmas display table, okay? All right, let me take it down. I'm gonna try not to hit any buttons <laughs> and knock this down. Let's see if I can take it out. And I'm gonna be holding it with my hand, so it might be a little bit herky-jerky, but let me give you a closer view, and you might see some of our extraneous things here. But look how cute. So you got the cute little serving board. It's just adorable. I love it. Just wanted y'all to see it a little bit closer. Look at this beautiful butter dish. And I don't think you can see the beauty, but it, this is a gorgeous, beautiful plum colored little dish there. And then I don't know how good y'all saw these plates, but look how beautiful. Love it come around on the back side here so you can see so it looks good all the way around the table and this is a small table y'all but just wanted to show y'all a few ways to decorate your table we're going to come back in here and I may if we have time I'll push the table against the wall and show you how you can do it like a hall table if we have time but I'm going to turn this around here we're going on a, a road trip we're going to walk over here into the other room, and I want to show y'all, one of the girls did um, put some of our Christmas things out. I got a beautiful set of Christmas dishes. These are not on the website. They're only here at the store. If you love them, just comment or send us a message. But I wanted to show you a Christmas table. So this is the cutest little table ever, and this uh, item is from Glenda Lou Designs, and it is... 150 it's a very rustic it's kind of short but it's perfect for a dessert table or a kids table if you need the extra table for the kids but always need a dessert table um, i've got this beautiful set of christmas dishes it's a four-piece set just thought it was gorgeous and we have some cute mugs here's your glasses for your eggnog and we we're actually just playing this out because of things that we're selling, but you can get an idea how you can decorate, mix and match some vintage things together with your own stuff and create a beautiful little table. This could even be a great like coffee bar or something like that. You know, you could push it against the wall and have your little coffee or Aspen spice, a little warmer, whatever you want to do, eggnog, hot cider, and it just is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I just love this so much. Just wanted to give you all some ideas and let you know that it is fun to thrift. You can thrift or you can come here and find things that have already been cleaned up, ready to go for you. And it's just fun. So let's go back in. Actually, I'm going to show you this table. This is really merchandise for the store, but it's another idea of how you could do a fall display. And I always like to kind of go up and down. I want the eye moving. I don't want it static. I like to have highs and lows. 
And anyway, this is like a really cute fall display. And just think of maybe in your hall, never mind the, the, can, the candy corn, caramel corn, popcorn, but just think about like a hall table or something like that. And this could even be your dining table or maybe you have a big island because this is like an island table like you would put in your kitchen. Maybe you want to decorate your island. You probably don't want as much stuff on it as I have, but it just gives you an idea with candles, pumpkins, do some highs and lows. It's fun. And the fun thing about this is that it's supposed to look good all the way around. And you know, island, that is a problem. You want it to look good on all sides. So that just gives you an idea of a few things you can do. So we are going to go back in here into my little studio and I think we're almost done. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Uh, if you didn't know who I am, I'm Wendy. I'm the owner of Cottage 321. We have a boutique and Ventiques and right now every Wednesday at 1230, I go live here at Ventiques. I'm going to put this back up here real quick. Sorry, trying not to hit any buttons. So don't accidentally turn it off. I think we got it. Yes, we got it. So let's see what time it is. We got a few more minutes. So I will straighten you out just a little bit here. Sorry, the camera's a little bit crooked. A little bit straighter. So I'm going to straighten it up. See our beautiful pumpkin patch. If you didn't catch the very beginning, we did a bunch of our handmade local people that make these signs. And I'm going to push the table against the wall. I'm actually going to take some of these plates off because let's pretend like this is a hall table. Or maybe you have a big table against the wall in your living room or maybe even in your bedroom. So I'm going to take these away. I love to decorate. I don't know about y'all, but I love it. And I don't have a lot of extra things here, but I'm just going to show you how this could even be just a hall table. I'm going to take the food things away. Oop. Let's see here. All food items away real quick. Change it up a little bit. I've got to undo this table anyway, so y'all might as well be here with me <laughs> as we do it. I'm going to leave the table runner and all this decorative stuff, and I'm actually going to spread it out just a little bit. And I think if I don't have any with me, I wish I'd have brought them back here, but if I I've got some more heirloom pumpkins and big pumpkins that are on sale here at the store. I probably would add even more. But what I would do is just start kind of spreading some of this stuff out. Take this away. Spread it out or either push it in. One of the two. I'm going to take that away. Pardon the noise. I'm going to push it to the wall. If it doesn't stick to the floor. I just want to give you a little bit of an idea. And let's just say that this is all the way up against the wall. I still love the table runner. And you can play with the table runner. Like you could bunch it up and do some fun things where you can actually see the tassels. You could run it this way as well. But I kind of like it like that. And I'm just going to maybe change it up just a little bit. Just to give you an idea of some things you could do just to change it up. Say it's against a wall. There's one little way of doing it. You could even take this out. Maybe put these in here. There's just so many things you can do. Put this floral back in. Oop. 
There's just so much. It's so fun to play. And like the fun thing is, is you could change it every day if you wanted to make it look different or maybe every weekend. <laughs> You've got several weeks up until Thanksgiving anyway. You could even turn this this way. Let's see here. Oh, another way I like to do this a lot. Is sometimes I will turn my boxes over and do a display on it like that. Just fun things. And you can even take one away. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with it. But that's it, guys. I think we're pretty good. Um, I'm just going to do some housekeeping. I forgot to bring one of my little... Tammy, if you're watching this, can you bring me one of those flyers? <laughs> about the ho 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 down all right guys so this is the end of the show thank you so much for joining us i hope you loved our little tablescape design and having some fun with that and how you can just take different things you collect and make fun little arrangements for each season even for every day um i think she's bringing it back here right now thank you yay so yay you heard me she was watching so we are doing a Christmas open house on November 12th. And this is our cute little flyer that we have for it. We've been passing these out and you may see this on Facebook, but uh, it's from 10 to five, November 12th. And this is our location. And we're in Hudson, North Carolina. And you guys like we have got, I have talked my husband into doing Santa. I'm still trying to twist his arm, but I think he'll do it. I think he'll do it. But anyway, he's going to be Santa for a couple hours from like 11 to 1. He'll be out on the porch for a photo op for the kids, and we'll have some little candy and stuff like that that we're going to give away. And then we have this awesome band, little two-man band, acoustic band, that's going to play on the porch from like 1 to 4, I think. Or maybe it's, yeah, I think it's like 1 to 4, maybe 3. I can't remember. But, um... They are called Yard Bard, and I think that might be a Polish thing, but it's got something to do with music. But they are acoustic. They'll be doing a little bit of Christmas music and some of their own music. It's going to be really fun. They'll be on the porch as well. And then we've got Roland, oh, Rounders Roland Cube. It's a barbecue truck that's going to be here for lunch if you guys are hungry. And then we just scored today. We just scored... Um, the creamery and honestly I can't remember the name exactly I will post I will like tag them as soon as I remember but they're out of Lenore I think they do coffee and ice cream and all that kind of stuff and they're going to be here we're also going to have some outdoor vendors um, we have Wendy Hall and company that does the the kids the baby bibs and all the different things that go with it and also your fur babies she makes some wonderful wonderful things and then we also have a jewelry maker that's going to be out there and we also have chasta blackburn that's going to be out there that makes handmade jewelry macrame all this fabulous kind of boho stuff they're also going to be out there and then we have all of our fa fabulous vendors inside and we are going to be decked out for Christmas. I'm talking Christmas, Christmas. Every room, Christmas trees, Christmas ornaments. Reese, da 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 We've already started bringing Christmas in, but as soon as Monday hits and it's done, it's on like Donkey Kong here. We're going to be pulling out all the Christmas and just going crazy with it. November 12th is the day, y'all. And another thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to have food samplings of a bunch of my different foods that I showed you today, like the pumpkin pie, cheesecake, and all that. We'll have some samplings of food in some of our Stonewall Kitchen jams and jellies. Um, we'll have hot apple cider for you guys to taste and have fun with, as well as the food that's outside. And I'm going to do a make and take craft. And basically, we will, I'll have a little room, this room back here set up with a table. And I'm going to have all of my paints and all my little scraps and pieces of things. And we are going to make some cute little ornaments or some kind of Christmas-themed craft. And we will do that until we run out. So whenever that runs out, that's when we'll stop. But it's free of charge, no charge. But please come out. 
share it. I will try to, we're going to be posting an event here and there um, leading up to it. And um, I'll probably be plugging this every, every Wednesday, but that's a big, big deal for us. We're trying to grow the business. We are brand new. We just, you know, opened up this store um, in May. And so it's like, it's like starting over. It's crazy. But thank y'all so much for joining me today. My name is Wendy with Cottage 321. You can buy any of these items that you saw today on Cottage321.com. And it is under Ventiques under What's Up Wednesday. And it has today's date. Thank you again. Share, like thumbs up, subscribe on YouTube if you can. Listen, I've got, I think I've got 983 subscribers. And when I hit a thousand, we're going to have a party. So it's only 17 away. So please go like, share, and subscribe. If you hit the bell on YouTube, it will send you a notification whenever I go live or whenever I load a new video. But anyway, that's it today, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next week at 1230 on Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.